Facebook wants to wants the data that Google has that Facebook doesn't. Google wants the data that Facebook has that they don't have, and they all share. Let's partner together. They partner. They're partners in crime, <clears throat> if you would. And so what this phone does is it creates a wall. It creates a wall between you and everything else. So one more question. Um, based upon the information that I, I've read so far, and you guys are moving towards this, um, the phone can actually scan your face sooner or later, right? Mm -hmm. And then and, and almost tell tell you what's wrong with yourself, tell you if you have any issues or what needs to be checked, or is that is, is that kind of the technology that this phone has, or something, or is coming let's, soon, or yeah, let's let's assume that you had a that you had a scan program on this phone and I'm gonna I'm gonna use my 420 right here and let's go up to clear let's hit the clear apps let's go here we got meeting at one o'clock too maybe we'll be late for it <laughs> yeah okay when we get when we get back this afternoon mm -hmm. the scan program on your phone works it's working now and it's on all the phones you said paperwork no it's free on all the phones it's free on the 220 the 420 the medical program gives you options for three doctors three doctors and a prescription drug plan say it one more, say it one more time these phones do what say it loud these phones have built-in scanning there's an app on this phone it's right here it's called clear scan we'll do this we'll video this when you come back okay the clear scan's going to scan you know i've got an apple watch here apple sorry watches to hear that. are great <laughs> apple watches are great but I have an Android, Android, watch, Android watch. Yeah, the Apple Watch, the Android Watch. This will give you your pulse. That's great. It'll give you, you know, it'll give you how many how many stairs I walked up and down today. Okay. Okay. Now I don't know about you, but in your world, is how many stairs you walked up and down critical to your lifestyle? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. But what if you had a phone that would give you your heart rate? It would give you your minimum, your maximum, your average. It would give you your blood pressure. It would give you your breaths per minute. It would give you the oxygen content coming out of your lungs and the specific oxygen uptake to your brain, and you could set it in a holder, not even touch it, look into a camera, and have that information in about 45 seconds. Would that be a pretty high-tech phone? Very high-tech. That's what you're holding right there. That's what you've got in that box right there. And that's the beginning. That's the free And program. that's the reason why I'm here. <laughs> that's the reason why you're here. The other reason why you're here is I want you to stop and look at it from a network standpoint. What is the ultimate product? A product everyone needs. You're a professional marketer. Mm -hmm. You're a heavy hitter, as am I. Right. What's the ultimate product for us? Is it Wooby Wooby Juice? Is no. it pills, potions, and lotions? Not at all. Is it your special flavored, you know, Zingo Zango toothpaste? <laughs> no. It's the product that everybody needs. Now, I'll tell you what. You've got three options when it comes to communication. You got smoke signals on a clear day with no wind. You got a flock of well-trained carrier pigeons with little message capsules on their leg, or you've got a smartphone. And by the way, if you don't download any of those permissions, the apps will not load on your phone, and you will have a dumb phone. Now, this is a smartphone. This is a brilliant phone. There's a difference. There is a difference. This is doing something to you on a daily and hourly and minute by minute basis. This is doing something for you. Now, is there a way, we've got to cut this soon, is there a way that we can snatch our life back? Absolutely. And take all the data from the public and make it private on our phone by having the system? Absolutely. That's all. That's, that's what this is all about. And that's the next video. That's next What's video. up, guys? How are you doing? It's your boy, Bitcoin Riding, coming to you guys straight from somewhere in Cold Town, Utah. This is Provo, Oregon. Where are we? We're in Oregon. We're in Oro, which is right next to Provo, I'm thinking. Uh, we're here right now with the owner of um, Cellular, Clear Cellular. Um, the phones you guys have been hearing about all of the last two days. It's getting very, very exciting. It's going very, very viral. And now we get to hear things straight from, I don't want to call them the horse, but the horse's mouth, and find out some questions maybe you guys wanted to always know. First of all, who is Michael Proper? A person just like each one of you, period. I don't know about that. No, no, <laughs> straight up, straight up, straight up. Definitely a wholesome guy. I mean, a great guy. I've had the last three days to spend with him. 
and his family in his office, and these guys are down to earth guys. Now, the, the most important thing that you, the question that I'm getting, because we tried a lot of rinky dink cell phone deals, um, SIM card deals in the past, every last one of them flopped. What is behind this company? What is the purpose behind this? Uh, how good is it really? Is it, is it really the dream thing? Is, can we stop right here? I think what makes it different is it's built on decentralization and a decade worth of, while everybody's running to central storage and systems, we've been running to decentralized storage and systems. Started a company called ClearOS, or a company called Clear Center that builds ClearOS server and taking it to all around the world. So from 150 countries to 450,000 deployments. Uh, top server manufacturers have basically literally use this, use this technology in their servers. Hewlett Packard Enterprise pre-installs it on their servers. And the back-end technology that connects up to the storage needs of phones is really what makes this different. So when you actually get a clear phone, you can actually get a little piece of paper like this inside of it, or you can actually turn it into metal or other things that actually can tie to your encryption keys. But you're gonna write down your 12 words. And these 12 words basically is the encryption keys from a master private key that will then be a derived key, whether it's your IDs, whether it's your logins, whether it's your wallets, that basically build off of this. And then it can scale from phone to phone to phone, or it can actually scale from parent to child, or from employer to employee. So let's say we grab, let's grab that phone. Okay. So let's say we grab three phones. Let's say we're just setting them up. This can be the parent, and you actually get your 12 words, and then you can get a child, and literally in the setup process, you actually sync that child to the derived keys of the parent to be able to help manage the apps, or where they go, or what they do, or even the passwords. So, and that's a parent-child relationship that could also work with an employer-employee, or for other things around the world, which we won't talk about just yet. But because these phones are actually built on decentralized architectures, storage and ID, a whole new world opens up. When individuals can actually gather their own data and their own privacy, literally, the centralized controls that we've all been basically just giving away our privacy for convenience changes. The whole world changes. So that's why this is unique. That's why this is different. And that's why it's important for you to pay attention to the opportunity that Rodney's telling you about. And that's a, a whole lot of information. Let's, let's get to the elephant in the room. The most important question I've been getting lately is, is well, if this is ran on the towers of um, T-Mobile, uh, how is it really private? You know, how is it, can somebody just hack into T-Mobile and get our information? Where does it stop at? So I'm gonna just make a statement that in a new world where decentralized IDs, or what we call DIDs, um, basically become kind of like a, in the credit card world, you have your credit card number, you know, if I had a little... Use my card, then. Uh, it's, not a, it's not a credit card, here I'll just grab one real fast. So if you had a, a credit card number, <clears throat> this is why I'm sorry, you, if you're gonna shoot something, you get prepped. <laughs> so you got a credit card number, but then we also give them our private key, which in all reality, this is ridiculous. The whole world is operated on your first name, last name, online identity, public keys, private keys. It's just flawed. So imagine in a world where you basically become a decentralized ID, where you can prove who you are at all times, but the reality is, is whether you're navigating on a cellular network or you're navigating on other systems, you literally become not only who you are, but your reputation online as well. So, and you understand reputation, you understand the importance of doing what you say you're going to do, and whether you can prove your education, you can prove your employment, you can prove your financial history, there's a whole new ecosystem in many, many ecosystems that decentralized technology builds. It's not just decentralized currency, kind of like what our boy here, Mr. BitcoinRodney.com, which I think is hilarious. I love it. You know, you know what else I love about Rodney? I love that he's real. I love that he is like most of us struggle through life, but he actually steps up every day with a smile on his face. That's, I love his smile. <laughs> and I'm not, I, I'll be a bro, you know, <laughs> but I love, I love his laugh, I love his smile, I love his attitude, 
and hopefully that rubs off on you. But the reality is, is we're here really as as brothers. Yeah. Indeed. As friends. Except for he made me wear these earmuffs and I told, the glasses I told and, him, and I was the jacket. Only, I was only the doing the interview if he kept his looks <laughs> on and his earmuffs on. I just love his style. You'll see a bunch of pictures with us too, but but I, I love that, that he literally pushes himself like he's pushing you to actually think outside the box because that's the only way that we're going to be able to unite together. It's why we call Clear United, Clear United. We unite together in many bodies, but with a single heart and a single mind, with systems that where we can organize ourselves in such a way where mankind in general can actually have a, a better experience with technology. Are we going to solve the world's problems? No. We all have choices, but in reality...